How are we doing today, Ash Nation? This King Mo, the Ash Man. Today we're doing another cigar review. We are doing Factory Smoke. We're doing Factory Smoke by Drew Estate, Churchill Shade, 7x50. Factory Smoke by Drew Estate, uh, Churchill Shade, 750. It's a seven inches long by 50, 50 ring gauge. Uh, this cigar, guys, uh, it's got a Connecticut shade wrapper. It's got a Connecticut shade shade wrapper with the binder and filler. is an Indonesian binder and filler. Uh, the cigar uh, got a the cigar, the wrapper got a woody smell to it. Uh, the cigar band okay get the black with yellowish uh, lining and this is made by Drew Estate uh, this come in a bundle of a 25 they go between 43 to 50 dollars depend where you buy them from, from depend where you buy them from and the average about a dollar 80 to 225 give and take uh, but the, uh, this cigar is a budget smoke. Uh, beside the woody smell to the wrapper, the cigar feels on the soft side. Uh, it have a look like a dual cap. I mean, what I see so far, look at the cap. The cap look is coming loose, coming off. Uh, the cigar. Let me see guys, you are, uh, I had some notes, I did smoke this cigar before guys, I bought him as a, you know, uh, the cigar band as I told you guys look good, get a woody smell to the cigar, to the wrapper, beside the size is a Churchill 7x50, uh, the construction of the cigar, I mean the cigar look of the construction look okay I see some blemishes here and there I mean the cigar on the cheap side guys but I mean I don't expect it to be 100% top of the line but I expect it to be okay you know if you see here guys you see uh, the rubber is just you know it's just it's like a third class citizen, whatever you want to call it, third class. It's just not the, the greatest. The cigar appearance, it appear okay. The look of the cigar look okay. If, uh, beside that, well, let's go ahead and cut it. And as I told you guys, it feel okay. Uh, it feel good, I mean, it's uh, 50 rings, it feel good. Uh, it's a perfect size in the dia in a, in a gauge and the length some something maybe it's too long because it's seven seven inches long but we're gonna go ahead and straight cut it and let's see what we think and all that stuff um, here you guys if you see cut it open it's already you know some of the fillers it's an Indonesian filler and it's by Drew Smoke Factory by Drew Estate uh, the cold draw is smooth the cold draw is smooth guys uh, if, uh, we're gonna go ahead and light it and let's see what we get into as I always like to toast the foot of the cigar uh, go in a circle motion I forgot guys uh, 
All right, guys, I, the lighter were empty. I had to fill it up. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the, in a circle motion. And This smoke, factory smoke by Drew Estate. It's a Churchill shade, seven by 50. This is got a Connecticut. The wrapper is Connecticut shade. The filler and the binder is Indonesian. Uh, what I noticed so far, guys, uh, I mean, I did buy them as a bundle. They've been sitting in my humidor for about a couple of weeks by now. Uh, from the get-go, the smoke output is a lot. Get a perfect smoke output. Uh, the draw. It's kind of loose, open. And... From the first buffer to I'm getting like an aftertaste a bittery taste to it this bitter bittery taste to it but uh, let's smoke a little bit, little bit of it and let's see if I could pick up flavor hints of the smoke and we'll talk more about it Alright guys, this King Mo the Ash man, we are reviewing Factory Smoke by Drew Estate. It is a Churchill shade uh, uh, and it's a 750. It's a Churchill shade 750. It's by Drew Estate. Alright guys, from the beginning as I told you guys, uh, it, the rubber, it had a woody smell to it, the draw uh, the cold draw were smooth. Uh, the light, when we light it up, the draw it feel like uh, open, loose, whatever you want to call it. And the, I'm getting lots when I'm smoking. I'm getting lots of lots of these loose fillers in my mouth. I do not like this so far. And it have this bittery taste and well wow. we got lots of aroma got a nice smell the aroma to it that uh, the, the smoke output is a lot perfect uh, but the, I'm picking up a taste notes of to it like cedar picking up a taste of cedar uh, cocoa been a taste of cedar cocoa even uh, taste of a little bit fruity fruit taste and cream but I'm picking up like four or five combination of but it have that bitter taste to it I just can't uh, can stomach it. Uh, the burn, it's uneven. Uh, it's got an awful burn to it. Look, guys. I mean, it's just whack. The burn is whack. The the ash, the color is the ash color is like almost on the wider side. The ash is okay. It's not solid. It's a little bit loose. I guess just the whole cigar and the cigar feels spongier. It's not soft. I mean the cold feeling to it were soft, but not it feels spongy and I just do not like that. I do not like the way how it's burning so far. And I did smoke about four or five of them. And they all were like that guys. They all have the same issue with the burn. But
I just, this is just, the burning is wacky. It's burning wacky. Uh, we're gonna stop for a minute, smoke a little bit more, and come and talk to you guys more about it. All right, guys, this is the Ash Man. Again, uh, we're doing the Suts Factory Smoke by Drew Estate, Connecticut Shade. Uh, or Churchill said, I apologize, six by uh, seven by fifty. Uh, beside the flavor, the notes of it between, excuse me, guys, uh, between the cocoa, the woodiness, the cedar wood, and the cream, and the hint of fruits, uh, beside the, the perfect. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, smoke output. I mean, lots of smoke output. Got a nice aroma to it. You know, I give it. Well, the burn is just terrible. I mean, and this cigar is burning fast. It's a fast burning cigar. Uh, it's running a little bit hot. It's not cold. I mean, it's not or something that's gonna burn me, but running a little bit hot, and that explains maybe the way how the cigar burning is just like almost a three-quarter inch variation between one side to another. Uh, it got a spongy feel. I mean, this cigar, guys. Plus, I mean, it's got a nice aroma, nice smoke output. But it would, despite the flavor I'm tasting between the cocoa, the cedar, and the cream, and uh, even the fruity, a hint of the fruit to it, it still have this, the, the ta a bittery taste to it. Every, every buff from the beginning to now, and that's something I'm not enjoying at all. I mean, guys, this is, I mean, I smoked it before. I just gonna tell you exactly what I think of it, straight get to it. It's not gonna waste my time and your time. Uh, burn fast, it have uneven, terrible smoke, uneven, terrible burning lines. I mean, smoke up, but perfect. Lots aroma is great. The draw is loose. Uh, every time I take a buff or two, I'm getting with loose to you know loose fillers. It get an Indonesian filler on on um, binder. I mean the ash look a little bit on the light, but look how the ash is exploding. I mean it's just. I mean, the ash is just not solid at all, guys. It's living on the looser side. I mean, this cigar, guys, uh, fast burning. I give it about maybe an hour, if you're lucky, depending how you smoke it. I don't think it's gonna last more than an hour with me. It might not last even 20 minutes because uh, I think this is my seven one, and I never get a chance to finish it because I could dis dis disregard with the way how it's burning. I'm not into that stuff. I mean, this decide the cigar appearance constructed okay. I had issue with some of them with the rubber came loose on me. I have some of them where the cab when you cut it with the cab, some of the it come loose. It had a double cab, but I have issue with the rubber where it unraveled on me. And all of them I had issue with the way how they're burning here, even worse than this. This is burning a little bit better than the other I had, but it's still awful burn. I mean, beside the aroma, beside the smoke output, this cigar is uh, just a waste of money for me. It's a terrible, it's a terrible cigar. Um, this cigar is... It seemed like it's a big mistake. I wasted $45, $50 
it's just going down the drain i even give it some of my friends and some of who smoked it they just never enjoyed it they all came and told me the same this cigar is burning awful it have that aftermath taste to it i mean i'm even pairing it with non-alcoholic beverages uh, zero malt and it's still not washing the after taste of the cigar the only thing I love about it is the smoke output and the aroma beside that there's nothing for me to love about uh, it is a terrible terrible smoke I mean beside I don't know guys even look it just, it's just, it's a, it's a failure. Uh, and this cigar even, not even strong at all. It's a, for me, it's mild, medium, medium bodied cigar. I mean, it's, uh, but it's the sponginess. It's just too spongy. Uh, I don't know something wrong with it, but I don't think I got a, uh, a bad batch there's no way i mean i that's a whole bundle it's all bad i mean one or two it's i, I see that could happen but to have a whole bundle is going like this there's seven i gave four or five of my customer or my friends one each about almost 15 total between me and them and they all had the same issue oh well, guys this is a disaster of a smoke uh, big mistake for me uh, don't even yeah, if you trust me you think I've been honest with you with all my other cigars reviews discussions don't save your money don't waste your money don't even buy this this is a bunch of crap I'm not even gonna finish it I'll be honest with you guys Because I'm, I'm not even finishing it. This is, if I have to rate it, I'll give it a, a one star. A one star because of the aroma and the smoke output, but the constructing of it is okay. But I had some of them, I have the rubber came unravel on me and make it a lousy smoke. Uh, that after the, the taste of the bitterness to it, despite the perfect combination the constant flavors of the cigar but this aftermath the tea the bitterness is just taking away all the good stuff about this cigar but guys would I buy it again no would I smoke it again no and if someone gave me one to smoke I might take one for the team I would smoke it but I'm gonna try to be in a polite way decline of smoking it I if someone give me a cigar I take it as a courtesy because when someone shares some of their cigars with you your friends whatever I mean they, they put the thought to it but I will take it I might not light it in front of them but I'm just not gonna I'm just not gonna it's just a once one star cigars uh, if you guys save your money, save your taste buds, it just, I wasn't expecting that by Drew Estate. Uh, look up some of the review online. People swear by it. People say they are in love with it. Other people saying they are not worth a penny. It's zero, disaster, terrible, horrible, awful. All the stuff you guys want, I mean, I try not to talk bad about cigars, but I'm trying to be honest with you guys as I always I'm trying to be honest. I'm just giving you my honest opinion. Uh, some of you out there might love it. That's more power to you. Some of you there maybe think, hey, King, Ash man, you were too harsh on this cigar. This cigar is one of my favorites. That's good for you. I'm not saying, for me, it's not cutting it. It's a mild body, nothing wrong with that. I would love if this cigar were good. 
I would love to my advice you can smoke two or three a day without you know affecting you but besides that guys if you trust me if you think I've been honest one fair with you guys save your money with this factory smoke by Drew Estate Churchill Chate 750 it's just a waste of money waste of time it's just a disaster for the king I'm not enjoying it at all guys uh, I give it a one star it's yes yeah, it's about a dollar eighty it's perfect I was looking for some budget cigar but I smoked a little bit cheaper cigar than a dollar eighty and they were not bad that much you know not awful like this but I mean besides that guys I'm just gonna end it not gonna talk too much about it I the only two good about this cigar the output and the flavor notes of it but uh, the flavor notes and the aroma beside that everything else is terrible I had issue with wrappers I had issue with the construction I had a I tried even when I smoked I get also that loose filler coming in my mouth I'm just not into all that I just turn off with all that stuff all right guys on a uh, other notes check the website give me a thumbs up tell me guys what you think tell me anything you want me to smoke if you guys smoke this one tell me what you guys think go check the website kingmo.com this will be on my youtube soon beside that you guys take care of yourself this is another review by kingmo the ash man and we did today factory smoke by Drew estate churchill shade 750 and this is a big big failure of a smoke I give it a one star it just save your money save your money save your money it's don't waste your time with it take care of yourself till next time this King Mo the Ed